Hi, I'm Timmy Tipton, back with another ISCO Tech Tuesday. There are many reasons why HDPE is the choice for sewer force main rehab and potable water systems. Here are a few steps to help you prepare for your next project. Inspection is the obvious first step to determine the condition of your existing pipe system. There are a few ways to go about this. Direct entry into the pipeline, remote viewing using crawlers or rovers, and inspection equipment like smart pigs that use sonar to help determine the condition of your existing pipelines. The inspection will turn up any signs of corrosion or other damage to the pipe. From there, you can make an assessment of the damage. If it's significant and the pipeline has been compromised or has already failed, replacement or rehabilitation is required. Like a GPS helps navigate direction, as-built drawings provide crucial information such as directional changes in your system, location of elbows, fittings, valves, or access points, easements, property lines, service lines, and much more. A thorough cleaning of your pipe system may be required ahead of your rehab. Depending on the conditions, cleaning methods like water jetting and pipe scraping are commonly used. HDPE pipe has grown in popularity and gained approval in many municipalities for its advantages over legacy pipe. The combination of flexibility and leak-free joints allows for a unique, cost-effective, and often easier installation. HDPE is known as the trenchless pipe. It allows for minimum surface and environmental disruptions using trenchless technologies like slip lining, close fit lining, and pipe bursting. HDPE is maintenance free and has a longer surface life than many legacy systems. Adopters of HDPE enjoy fewer system main breaks, lower water loss rates, and reduced repair costs. To learn more about fixing failing sewer force mains, check out our ISCO Insights on this very topic. Just click the link in this post. Thanks for watching.